All right, we never talk about it. It can make men cringe and remind so many women of something that makes them wince on a monthly basis. It's period pain. But more than discomfort, eight in 10 women say it leads them to be less productive at work or schools. And Jamie Yukas shows us how one company is raising awareness by helping men get a sense of how it feels. The pain can be debilitating. I can't not but typically, period cramps go unnoticed by men. Oh yeah, no, how can you function like this? You can't. Until now. We put them where you would have ovaries if men had them. So Lux Perry is CEO and co-founder of Some Days, a Canadian period pain relief company. Their team brought their electric period pain simulator to this year's Calgary Stampede, where they managed to bring the toughest of cowboys to their knees. They're trying to use the simulator to take the stigma out of talking about period pains. The simulator and what Some Days is really trying to do is open up that conversation in a way that's not awkward. It's funny, it's lighthearted. <laughs> but it hasn't always been a laughing matter for Perry, who suffers from endometriosis. It impacted my ability to attend school, my ability to attend jobs, hold a job. Endometriosis often causes more extreme pain during menstrual periods. Endometriosis is regularly mistaken for period pain, which is just so absolutely absurd. Endometriosis is the thickening of tissue surrounding the uterus. Millions of U.S. women have the condition, which may disrupt fertility, but some don't realize it. Because pain in general, menstrual pain is so common, I think it's hard for many people to know the distinction, the difference, and hard to get diagnosed. Dr. Tara Shirazian is the director of NYU Langone Center for Fibroid Care. Especially for young women, young patients, it's very, very important to diagnose early. She says there are treatments, but they don't always help, and compassion for those suffering goes a long way. Jamie Yukis, CBS News, New York.